difference between relative spath and absolute spath in selenium. In selenium, both relative spath and absolute spath are used to locate elements on a web page so that you can interact with them through your automated tests. However, they differ in how they specify the path to an element within the HTML structure of a web page. Absolute Spath Absolute Spath specifies the complete path of an element from the root node, usually the HTML tag, to the target element. It starts with a single slash, slash, and traverses through the entire DOM hierarchy to locate the element. Example Slash HTML slash body slash div 1 slash div 2 slash form slash input 3. Relative Spath It starts directly from the context node, usually the parent of the target element, and describes the path to the element based on its relationship with nearby elements. It starts with a double slash, slash slash, and it's considered a better practice for locating elements in Selenium tests as it reduces the impact of changes in the page layout. Example Slash slash form at it equals login form slash input at name equals username Which one to use? It's generally recommended to use relative path whenever possible, as it's more resilient to changes in the page structure and makes your test scripts more maintainable. Absolute spath should be avoided unless you have a specific need or if the structure of the web page is very complex and there's no reliable way to locate an element using relative spath. In summary, while both relative and absolute spaths can be used to locate elements in selenium, relative spath is generally preferred due to its flexibility, maintainability, and ability to adapt to changes in the page structure.